Hi, my name is Jim. Hey, I'm Rebecca, and this is our mess. We are a family of six living in a 36-foot RV while we tame this mess and create a homestead for our family. Welcome back to The Mess. One of the questions I get asked is how do you live with four kids in a travel trailer and not go crazy? Sometimes I am crazy, um, but I do want to show you how we live, so come on in. I love how our camper opens right into the main living space. To me, that makes it feel inviting and welcoming for our guests that are coming to visit us. The front bedroom also has two rolling panels on either side of the bed that close it off and give privacy and darkness, especially for when Sylvana's napping. We have a queen size bed that was surprisingly comfortable once we added a topper. And Jim and I each have clothing storage in the cabinets and also under the bed, there's another larger cubby. Right now that cubby has extra blankets and clothes for winter, as well as Sylvana's neck size up. We love our hand-me-downs. On my side of the bed, Jim extended the side table to make a little changing station for me so I could have my diapers and wipes and everything right there. He's so handy. Here's our entertainment center with the doors to the bedroom shut. And the cool thing about this is we can actually spin this around and watch TV in the bedroom if we want to. I love that feature. So we can have movie night while the kids are in bed in the comfort of our own bed. Up here we have all kinds of um, school supplies, um, batteries, basically what we need for homeschooling and things that I really don't want my kids getting into. We keep that up high. And then this is kind of my homeschool center. So I've got everything I need to teach my kiddos right here, um, the math and the language arts anyway. Uh, and then my purse and our to-go bag that gets loaded up with whatever we need for the day. Um, so up here we've got bits and pieces that have fallen off of the RV and I'm not sure where they go. So um, daddy's got to reinstall some of this stuff once he gets the parts. It's kind of a to-do pile. And then I've got my three kitchen cabinets. Let's open those up. So everything that was in the kitchen cabinets have fit into these three and the ones above the kitchen sink. Um, so this is the kitchen at rest. I've got it cleaned up from the mornings. I'm okay, baby. Um, we've got um, our kefir making for tomorrow. This has got grains in it with milk. Um, my coffee, which I'll probably drink some more of. Um, our various cups, I try to make sure that they stay right here so that they're not floating around the cabin. Thanks for cooking. This just kind of stays like this. Uh, and then I can move these two things out of the way. I can just stack them on top of each other on the couch or on the floor to get to the stove if I want to cook anything. Um, then up top is where I keep pots and also my blender for making smoothies and my coffee grinder. Got a microwave that does not work. And then underneath, yes, that's the sink. Underneath, we've got some things that we can just easily grab. Um, yep, flashlight. Is that your flashlight? Yeah. That's your flashlight, huh? Mm -hmm. um, silverware and bigger silverware. Stuff that I don't use a lot, but still really do need. And underneath the sink is where I'm keeping my onions and potatoes. And that's just the hot water heater. So there's not a lot of space under here. You'd think there would be, but not so much. Here's my oven. This right here 
is one of the three things that I regret. Um, I love to bake and this is all I have to work with right now. This and the air fryer. So it is a challenge that I am working to overcome, but I do miss my big oven. All right, let's take a look in the fridge and freezer. The freezer we just, oh, that's our to-do list. Just restocked, it's tiny and it gets packed. Not a whole lot of space, but we've got what we need. It definitely makes me think about what I wanna cook for the week. Immediately to the right of our dry erase school wall is our bathroom which I think is pretty roomy for a camper bathroom. It's got plenty of cabinets for our uh, medicine supplies and for our toiletries. Um, it's got a little cubby for toilet paper and diapers. Um, we've got a full-size shower with a little bathtub that will fit our kids. Um, actually, we can put two of them in there if we want to at the same time. Okay, so here we have our Kind of command center there's a lot of stuff in there our laundry um, this used to be a u dinette that changed into a queen bed we've kept it as a queen bed because it works better for us to have a lounging area than to have a table um, the kids eat on the hard floor anyway i don't like the meeting on the carpet um, so we've just made this an area that we can throw the pillows around and make uh, comfortable and sit wherever um, we've got our computer set up there um, this is this is where we hang out a lot. It's covered in this blanket because that's the only one that I had kept out. I use it as a picnic blanket outside because I don't care about it. Um, but it was the only one I had and it became the couch cover. Um, I'm looking to replace it, but it's not high on the list of priorities and everything has to be prioritized right now. Um, but the reason why it's on there is because this cushion, these cushions are shedding vinyl very badly. So all of these little black flecks are little pieces of vinyl and I clean these up on the regular. So um, a couple times a day at least I'm vacuuming these up. It's really annoying. But to get them reupholstered costs over a thousand dollars. So we're looking for other options right now. The blanket is about the best we can do. Over here, here's our pantry. This is the only food storage area that I have easy access to. So I keep things here that I use either on a daily basis or that my kids like to eat. And everything else has to go into the storage that's underneath the lounge area. While I am thankful for the extra storage, I hate having to get into these because you have to peel back all of those shedding cushions and then lift these uh, plywood planks to get to whatever you're getting at. So I don't do a whole lot of baking anymore, sadly. All right, and here we have the kids' room. Yep, and I... You want to show them around? Oh, yes. Oh, here I made a museum card. And, and you've got a bookshelf down here, right? Yes. And With all of your dinos set up, I see, buddy. Yes. Well, I... Okay, yes. You did that? I want the kids to climb up here and slide and go here. Oh, here. I see here. that. And, and this is a little bouncy. Very cool. Do you want to show them where you keep your clothes? Oh, yes. All the kids' hanging clothes fits in this one cabinet. And Virginia also has a basket with her pajamas and her play clothes in it. And then the other three kids each have their own basket in this cabinet. Silvana's on the top, and then Jimmy and Juliet. Underneath the bookshelf, we have two drawers, one for underwear and one for socks. And they all keep their underwear in the same drawer and their socks in the same drawer. It just works out for us. If I'm getting one dressed, I'm getting them all dressed. And then on top, I've also got um, some games and some coloring books and verb cloths and bibs for the baby. Right. Up here is where Virginia sleeps. Um, she's got her little nest on that end. This is a pretty wide bunk. So she's very comfortable up there by herself, but we are going to eventually switch Juliet to this end. That's why we put up the rail and we'll have a detailed um, description of how we did that pretty soon. 
So Juliet will eventually sleep there once we get over the whole potty training recession that we're going through right now. Uh, these, these beds are not easy to change. So I don't want to have to change this in the middle of the night with another girl on the other side. So we're going to wait. So down here we've got Juliet's bed for now. We've got these cushions that fold out. Right now it's folded up so that they don't get the sheets dirty. Um, and they like to play in that little cubby and this makes a nice cushion. Um, so she sleeps down here. Jimmy sleeps up here. He's not made his bed this morning. And we just moved Silvana into this pack and play a couple weeks ago. Okay, so um, over there against the wall, they've got their stack of toys. And then those are baseboards that came with the RV that we have yet to figure out how to attach. Thanks for coming along on a tour of our camper. If you've got any comments, suggestions, questions, uh, what you would do with our camper on a budget, I'd love to hear from you. Just drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome to the mess. Welcome to the mess. Where God takes our mess and makes it his best. Yes.